Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about the concept of destructor in C++. So first of all, what is destructor? Destructor is a special member function like constructor. Destructor destroy the class object created by constructor. Right? Destructor name is same as the name of the class but preceded by a tilde symbol right it is not possible to define more than one destructor in a class destructor called automatically when the object of class is created right destructor neither require any argument nor return any value it is automatically called when object goes out of scope destructor basically release the memory space occupied by the object which are created by constructor. Let's see the code for destructor function. First of all create a class, abc is the name of the class and class having one constructor function and destructor function. Constructor name is always same as the name of the class. constructor function display the message constructor then define the destructor function destructor definition start with the tilde symbol then name of the destructor destructor name is always seen as the name of the class then body of the destructor function destructor function display the message destructor Then class body end with the closing curly braces and semicolon. Then inside the main function create the object of class abc a1 and a2. Two objects are created of abc class. When object of class is created, constructor as well as destructor function called automatically. Constructor is to allocate a memory and destructor is for release deallocate the memory right run this code now after the execution of this code the output is constructor construct two time constructor function called automatically and then two time destructor function called automatically right now in this code destructor function define inside the class right next is how to define destructor function outside the class when we want to define destructor function outside the class, first of all declare inside the class, right? Declare inside the class, class definition and with the closing curly braces and semicolon, then define outside the class with scope resolution operator. First of all name of the class, then scope resolution operator, then name of the destructor function. Run this code. same output is to be displayed onto the screen right you can define destructor function inside as well as outside the class this is all about the destructor function thank you